Fall in the mountains has many looks, many shadings. There are colors that come to life and colors that die. But to see fall a little differently, we commissioned some young artists at the Spencer Valley School to give us their visions of fall. Some of the fall colors wound up in their hair, on their skirts and shoes, but a lot got on paper. It's supposed to be a pretty picture. Well, it is a pretty picture of what, a tree? Mm-hmm, see? I like the leaves and I always collect them. Do you know what kind of tree that is? No. It's the one you made out? Yeah. It has all different kinds of leaves. Mm -hmm. You see all those colors in the mountains. Maybe not all in one tree, but you see them. What are you drawing here? Nothing really. Just putting paints on. Oh, this, these aren't fall colors? <laughs> sort of. I don't know what I'm doing. When I was little, I did this. Oh. There's a tree down there, and it's called the mighty oak. The oak tree down there. Mm -hmm. When did everybody draw it? And it has all these co different colored leaves. We wanted to see that great oak tree with the different colored leaves. Well, it was a great oak tree, but not too great for colors. Shana, this tree doesn't have any colors except green. <laughs> I just made it up. There was red nearby, but it was poison oak. But even when the colors are lacking, you can do a lot with a big oak tree. And you can see a lot through the eyes of children, fall their way, and nature's way. And sometimes the best colors are in the mind. <laughs>